Hey tubers, me again. Um, I just wanted to share a little something with you. I've been working on this. Uh, what do you call it? It's an Echo. It's one of those eight zero one zero. Uh, it's a big boy. It is the the big blower. So, anyways, the problem is the the guy calls me and says he just stopped running. And since, if you remember, we just did a video on one that uh, the guy, it's not the same problem, but um, the guy, he had it, and but it was still under warranty, and so we opted not to, to, to start tearing into it. This one is, he bought it secondhand, paid a few hundred dollars for it, and can't get it going. And it, it just died. It's not... Like it was like it would start right back up again. So it feels like it's got really good compression to me. Um, I've been fooled before, but it feels really good. Uh, it does have spark, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's um, sparking at the right time. So that means that you'd have to check and make sure that it hasn't slid on the key. I did that. I removed this. I had to use an air chisel. Took the coil off, pried on it. And then took the, the air chisel right there, popped off the flywheel, it looked perfect. So I put that back and then uh, now I'm going through the carburetor. I did cheat and I took the spark plug, I dipped it into the, into the gas tank and then I put it back into the hole just to see if I could get it to cough and I still couldn't get anything. So um, they say like if you got fuel and you got... Uh, spark and so the only other thing we need is compression so I'm gonna have to go through it I'll check the exhaust it's not very likely that there's gonna be a problem because these things run full blast all the time and they don't really get a chance to build up that much carbon plus it's an 810 so it's not that old so what I'm doing now is I just took and I cleaned out the carburetor I went through everything and what I just want to show you right now is like instead of taking and putting everything all back together and then just like crossing my fingers and, you know, hoping that what I did works, I'm going to actually take and show you down through here. I'm going to try to prop this up. Hold on. Okay, you guys. So like I was saying, I don't want to just take and throw this back together. Here's the carburetor. I went and I, I went through and I cleaned everything. I shot air through the you know, the ports and all that fun stuff. Just doing what everybody else does. But now here, let's turn on the light. And if, you, if you've ever watched any of my videos, I have that one about, um, what is it, the Poulon chainsaws and actually what a carburetor does, okay? So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna push air through here, which is exactly what the engine does, except it creates the, the massive suction, the way that this is all designed, they're, they're making that Venturi. They're creating a low pressure on the back of that little piece right there in the middle of the carburetor. And I'm gonna take and push air through there. And when, if you look to the back of it, you should be able to see a mist. See that? Hold on. I'm trying to do it through the camera. Can you see the mist coming out the back of the carburetor? That's its whole job. That's the, the one job that this carburetor has is to take and turn liquid gas into like fumes because it makes it much more explosive. So one more time, here it is. Kind of cool, huh? So anyways, I want to take and put this back together. Like I said, I checked the timing. I know the timing is correct. Uh, I know that it's going to get fuel delivery now. I'll try to start it. And if that doesn't do it, I'm going to take and pull the exhaust off to make sure that it's breathing and that I, I've got good compression. So we got those three things. This thing should be a runner and should go home. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys. So... Let me turn that overhead fan off. It's only 111. Hot spot in the nation, boys. Uh, I put the starter on. I have not put the shroud on. 
spark plug is connected all the carburetor stuff is back in uh, I know it's not a dry carb because you saw when I shot the air through there that the fuel is can you even see yeah so that, the, that the fuel is right up in there but I'm gonna put the choke on it anyways make sure that the key is not off and let's see if we can get it to cough this is a, we're, we're doing this together you guys don't want it to take off take the choke off of it Sounds like a mechanical clank, doesn't it? I'm gonna give it a little bit more gas, choke it one more time. See what happens. It should be running. Okay, if it's flooded, have the throttle wide open, choke is off. Not good. All right, I'm tired. I gotta take a break. That's the one that sucks about two strokes. Okay, so I'm still pulling on this thing, and it's not starting. And so I'm thinking, no, I haven't pulled the exhaust off yet, because I just don't think that's part of it. Um, but if I got compression and I got fuel, or I think I got fuel, and I know that I have spark, I did the spark test, and the timing is correct. So I'm wondering if maybe there isn't water in the gas. I mean, that would, that would explain it. So... Um, it's got a U.S. registered ton of gas in there. I don't have a container big enough to hold all of that stuff just to look to see if there's any water. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to go from the pickup, which is from the filter down at the bottom of the tank, and I'm going to take and suck some of that gas out of there. But I need, I don't know, just a small clear container. And we have water bottles all over the place. So like we go through these things like... Well, like their water, but there's that little bit of water and I don't want to, I don't know if that's going to be from the gas or that's going to be from me because anyways, here's the trick I do. Take a tear a piece, a piece of paper towel. Everybody's got water bottles. Take and put this inside the bottle. Then take your air compressor and shoot it in there. And while that thing is dancing around, the paper towel is dancing around in there, it's picking up all the water. No more water, and then now when you feel you so you've got it sufficiently clean, put the hose, put your compressor all the way in the bottom, to the bottom of it. And it blows it right out. So now we have a nice dry, clean bottle. We're looking for water. We're gonna drain that gas tank over there, but that's just a little trick. Put a piece of paper towel in there and shoot it. Okay. We'll get back to our regularly scheduled program here in one second. Okay, so it's like a minute later. As you can see, there's no water in the gas. There's no, no water from me, and there's no water from his contamination. So now we got to rule that out. All right, on to the exhaust. There's a spark arrestor, you guys. Like I said, that's not likely because these things run full blast all the time. So there's nothing wrong with that. Now I'm gonna pull the, the whole muffler and check the rings, see if one is hung up or something. Okay, we're just kind of balancing teetering right here. Turn the light on. I'm gonna zoom you in. 
not looking too bad not looking too shabby I'm gonna turn pull this over uh-oh that's not looking great no that's looking bad and that's looking shabby See if we can get in there a little bit closer. She's stuck. That ring is stuck. There's two of them. See it right there? It can't expand. It can't do what it's supposed to do. So, after all that... It still does feel like it's got great compression, but I don't know. Um, so here's the scenario. It's a, what do you call it? It's an Echo 8010. It's the biggest one they make. It might even be like the biggest backpack blower that you can buy. So I'd have to go and look and see like how much, I don't know how, what, how you guys refer to it. See this right here? See these bolts right there? That's what I call magnums. Like they're very easy to replace. You don't have to come down here and split the case or anything. You just got to take in, if you can take and pull, get those uh, bolts out of there. They put a little bit of Loctite on them, but generally they, they come out okay with an impact. If you can get that, slide that, slide that jug off of there, and then... Uh, just replace, you know, the piston and get the new jug and the new piston and all that stuff and re, uh, what do you call it, RTV this down here and stuff. This thing is totally worth saving. If you if you have to take in, we know it, it's getting gas, we know it, that the ignition is good, that's our problem right there. So if you had to take and put 100 bucks into this thing, for me, it's totally worth it. Because I would turn around and I'd sell this thing for easy, 300 bucks. Make 200 bucks off of my $100 investment. That's just me. So, um, I get to be the bearer of bad news. I get to tell the guy what's going on. And he's not going to be happy. So, anyways, maybe he'll want to rebuild it. I don't know. So, hey guys, uh, appreciate you watching. If you thought that uh, carburetor and uh, seeing how what the carburetor does and it makes the mist and if that helps you to understand what the carb does, that makes me happy. So leave a comment below and we'll catch you on the next one. You just can't save them all, guys. You just, you just don't work out that way. All right, I'm out. Hey, here's a little bonus material for you here, guys. I got, a, I got it laying on its side. I'm going to take and shoot a little WD-40 in there just so as a liquid you can... Come on. Get the bubbles gone. It's leaking so bad that it won't even hold it. But watch, watch the bubbles now. That's the piston on the way up. It's just everything is blowing by so bad. When it comes back down, it's going to evacuate that stuff. So it might still be enough. Oh, it almost hydrolocked it. So much leaked up past. <laughs> There's the ring just going up. See that? This looks like looks like caramel. We're making bananas foster in here. Yeah, this one's a see ya, boys. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. All right, time to call the owner. All right, thanks again for watching, guys.